Hello my dolls and welcome to another cello tips and tricks vlog. Today we're going to be revisiting some good old open string exercises and tackling string crossings. Before we get to the tips and the exercises, please show your support for my growing channel by subscribing and liking the video. That would make Chelly and I super duper happy. So string crossings. One of the most frequently made mistakes is we think the distance between our strings is a super, super big arc. Where actually it's a really, really tiny arc. And we often have the tendency to want to use our elbow and to do something extreme. So what you dolls can do is use your wrist and your fingers for adjacent string crossings. So the way I want you dolls to think of that is if you are, someone says something ridiculous and you flip your wrist. This wrist already has so much flexing and motion. And then if we just have our fingers, that's also a lot of motion. If I'm going from the D string down a G, that's it. I'm just using my fingers, guys and a little bit of the wrist. So I'm going to show you quickly from the side here, you can dip so much up and down with just your wrist and your fingers. So with all of this leverage, we don't need to do anything crazy with our elbow or shoulder. So I'm also going to show you this once from this angle and I'm going to try to play while holding my phone. So bear with me and the things I do for you dolls, cause I love you. I'm just using my fingers to get to the strings. Coming up, curled for the D, down to the G. So as you'd all see, I wasn't going super far this way to up here to down here, and that's what we need to avoid. So you're on the leftmost side of this G string, going to the rightmost side of this D string. It's a much smaller arc than coming in an extreme wide path. So as a warm up for these exercises, I want you to do a G string and then a double stop. I want you to think you are barely leaving the G string. And that's all you need to travel. So instead of thinking, I got to get to the D string, think I'm barely leaving the G. Little bit of psychology trick for you dolls. So now let's get to the exercises where we will be training that efficient, tiny string crossing motion. So each round, we're going to be doing a different rhythm. First round will be half notes quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenths, and six tuplets, baby, if you're feeling fancy and want to be challenged with me. And I recommend starting this exercise at 60 beats per minute, something slow so that you can really nail the technique with exercises. I try to do a couple metronome clicks up every week. And with that metronome marking, we will be doing four beats per bow, one bar of four, four on the down, a second bar of four, four on the up for each rhythm. So enough chit chat. Let's get to some of these exercises and you can even grab your cello and bow and play along with Chelly and I. <laughs>
exercises. Thank you dolls so much for watching. I hope you dolls found these exercises helpful. I swear by open strings and I really think this is a great way to pinpoint the technical needs for slurred string crossings. If this is your first time for a cello doll tips and tricks, welcome. You can find me as the cello doll on Instagram and Facebook, and of course here on YouTube as well. I hope to see you all soon for the next video. Bye my dolls.